Okay, hear me out. Holiday makeup, pink and green. I have an idea. <laughs> so I'm only gonna do this eye for right now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with some clean canvas. Notice that I'm only going through my crease. This one might be a little bit more spicy. I've been doing a little bit more simple looks. Um, something for everyone, but I'm gonna let this one be a little bit more spicy. I might even do a little bit of some graphic liner, but the reason I'm only putting the base from the crease to the brow bone is because I'm gonna be using a green base. I wanna use this palette again. I love this palette, it's so gorgeous. I'm only gonna be using the mattes today, but let's grab this shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and start to tap that through my crease. If you have hooded eyes, I want you to notice, first of all, this brush. This brush is designed for hooded eyes and very small areas. But also, I want you to notice, look at how much higher, I got cut off. Look at how much higher I have brought this. So you'll notice it's not directly in my crease. Right here is my crease. I'm wanting my eye to appear much larger, so I brought that much higher. Now also, you'll see me shut my eye. I know the shape of my eye. I could probably do this blindfolded. That sounds like a fun challenge, maybe one day. But for right now, the best way to do it would have been to relax my eye and just kind of press this through here. If it gets on your lid, that's okay. We'll clean it up later. Now I'm gonna grab this shade from the palette same brush. I did wipe it off just on a regular towel. Well, she's not any regular towel. She's Sheila, but technically she's a regular towel. And I'm going to start to transition this. Notice that I'm tapping. I'm going to really take my time. I don't want to build these colors up too fast. Let's kind of keep going back and forth. This does take a little bit more time, but you're not gonna over blend and lose control and the shadows won't become muddy. What I have here is a little bit of green base. This is it, it's from City Color and the shade is Minty. And I'm taking my Rose and Ben Beauty C30. Look how cool that is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut my crease. I want a lot of lid space with this one. Um, if you're really not sure about cutting your crease, first of all, Two years in the making, this brush is designed to cut your crease. This sucker has some precision. And with that precision, what I like to do, by now, I could just go straight across here. I know my eye shape. But if you're just starting out, it really helps to have a brush that has this much precision. And notice how I'm kind of pressing it where I want it. I'm kind of pressing and then I'll pull it. Press it where you want it. You're gonna have more control with that stamping motion than you would just doing like this. But that's where I'm at now. But the stamping and the pulling really helps at first. Now we have to set this type of base. It's not going to set on its own. What I'm gonna do is grab a tiny amount of white eyeshadow, any kind of white eyeshadow, and I'm just gonna set it with white because it'll just kind of turn into this really pretty pastel green. That's fun. We're having fun. And with whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of press that on my brow bone and across here and across there. Real Christmassy around here, okay? Real Christmassy. So we're gonna grab this gel liner here from Melt Cosmetics. And I'm grabbing this on a Rosenbin E26. I'm just grabbing a little bit more. Um, when doing precision, I wanna make sure that the product is very evenly distributed on the brush. So I'm just gonna do a quick twirl. We can always come back and grab that. It's not wasted. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start through here. I wanna make sure you can see. I need to hold it a little bit farther back. And I might thicken this, but we're gonna start with kind of a thin line. And then I'm gonna decide if I wanna connect it here. I feel like I still wanna do black liner as well, but we'll see. So now let's grab some black eyeliner. And this one's from Melt as well. I told y'all we were gonna get spicy. If 
fill it in. So before I finish this, I wanna thin this out just a little bit. And again, I teach this every single day. Makeup is really about knowing how to fix your mistakes. I'm gonna grab a clean C30 right here and I'm dipping it into micellar water. Actually, this one might not be clean. It has a little bit of concealer in it from what I used earlier, but that's not a big deal at all. But I didn't want the green. So what I'm gonna do is I want to ever so lightly thin this out. So for this, we do need to be going back and forth. It's gonna take off some of that base. That's okay. Don't fret. Just kinda of take this off, take your time, thin it out. And now I'm gonna wipe it on Sheila, make sure I'm getting all that green off, just kinda of keep thinning. Don't panic. Easy peasy. Remember the one that had the green base? Go right underneath, look how easy that is. Now I'll grab an E27 with the white eyeshadow and just set it again. It's like nothing ever happened. And that's much thinner. Crisis averted. That's what I always wished um, that more people would have shown. Whenever I was searching for information on makeup, I wanted people to show me how to fix something because that is truly where you grow in makeup. Everything in me wants to add rhinestones. We might do that later. For right now, let's put on this lash. We needed some floof. These are the style Theron from Lava Lashes. Ooh, they're spicy. Getting a lot of DMs that IG's glitching today. This is a very unfortunate event. Um, I'm gonna go film this eye. Maybe it'll kind of fix itself while I'm gone, but I'll be right back and we'll finish the face. IG is being wild, but I'm gonna try to finish this tutorial because I love you, that's why. Um, I haven't used this in 100 years, okay? This is the Smith & Colt Untouched Skin Brightening Primer. This stuff, first of all, it's a foam, and that's really fun. Second of all, I forgot how much I loved it, so you're gonna see it go on, and it actually evens out the skin tone, and it's just amazing. Makeup just kinda grabs onto it. So you can wear it alone, or as primer. We're doing primer today. So I'm going to mix these two. I've never tried this, but this one's too light and this one looks too dark. So I'm going to mix 130 and 140. Um, this is the CoverGirl Clean Liquid Foundation. So I mix the two colors on the back of my hand and um, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. It smells like some kind of medicine. Whoa, it smells like Vicks. It smells, it smells just like Vicks. So the finish is quite lovely, but I don't think I would ever use it again because the smell is so intense. Um, I don't think I've ever said that before. I don't think I've ever been so against a foundation because of the smell, but that one particular smell, it just smells like medicine the entire time on my face. Moving on, I'm just going to keep it on. I'm going to grab one of my favorite concealers at the moment. This is the Beauty Creations. And then I'm gonna grab my Anissa Beauty Angle Concealer Brush and we'll melt that in. And hopefully IG is not glitching anymore, which it probably is. Take my puff and set my under eye. I'm using my Givenchy powder today. And then all you have to do is search makeup puff on Amazon and these come in a pack. I think it's a pack of eight, I might be wrong, but they're black and white. We're gonna hop into this Wet n Wild bronzer. Really loving it. Um, if you're looking for a new bronzer and you want something really affordable, this one is pretty awesome. It's from Wet n Wild and the shade I use is Sunset Strip Tease. You can see how pretty it is there. I just feel like it's such a nice formula. It's so smooth. Oh, and this is the Rosamund Beauty C40. Notice that I'm pressing and the brush kind of fans out and it fits here perfectly. See that shape? Boom. Mm. Two years. I know I keep saying it. These were prototypes for two years. Two years. That's how long I developed them. Two years. That was a really hard secret to keep. We're going to grab this Melt Cosmetics Lip Liner. I already applied a little bit of it. I'm just kind of perfecting. This is the shade Nudist. 
So IG has me a little spice. It didn't upload the part where I was putting these on. I did film it in TikTok, so you'll see that in a little while. It'll be posted here too. Don't get, I don't want to confuse you. Um, this. Go get this immediately. This is what I use. This was the easiest rhinestone application I've ever done in my entire makeup life. And it's because of this glue. I would literally, look, it's clear. I just dot it and then I would just place it. This was way too easy. Go get this. And the rhinestones are just from Amazon. Just search nail art rhinestones. And then this is just a nail art tool. Amazon. Amazon. Also, the smell of this is not getting any less. I really like this look, but there's been, there's been a few road bumps or bumps in the road. I don't know. I'm spiced. Finish this up with this lipstick. This one is from Makeup Forever. This has been one of my faves for a long time. It's 100 Empowered Beige. It's nude nude. Like, like real spicy nude. But it's so pretty with this mint shade. I believe that's everything. Let me go ahead and tag this. I get my headbands from the same place. So if you see me wearing one, it's probably from the same place. Unless I say otherwise. Um, so here's the tag. I hope you all enjoyed this super festive holiday Christmas. I, it's kind of like the Grinch, but like the spiced Grinch. I love you all so much. I'll post a little mini tutorial with all of the details in just a little while. Um, I love you. I love you all so much. I'll see you tomorrow.